Right, so there you join me outside the property we've just acquired from another landlord. It's a state, but we're trying to get it turned around and rent it as soon as possible. Let's get it. <laughs> So this is about as good as it gets, and I'll show you the rest. That's just belt in here as well, so it's very, um, it's just tatty in different places. And these are the hardest jobs, because we don't really want to go back to brick or do a full repair, um, because we've got so many people wanting this house. Also, we don't want to show it in this condition, and we don't really, even though we could rent it in this condition, we don't want it just to keep the brand and the standards high. So it's just little things like we'd like to, Skim some damp here, take it back to brick, um, penetrate it from the outside wall. Probably going to get rid of this uh, furniture, at least make it a bit nicer, um, tidy everything up. It used to be a HMO, so you'll see the fire doors and stuff. We're not going to rent it as a HMO, we're just going to leave it as a single there. Uh, maybe be too much work to do it as a HMO. So this is around, about a massively there, you just finish that, we've just closed. If you see here, I've just had a leak from the bathroom upstairs. So that's hopefully resolved now. We've just changed the whole bathroom and that all needs to dry now, which is going to hold us back for renting it. So hopefully if we can cover that, explain to the prospective tenants, of which is probably like 10 people already, if anyone's prepared to just deal with that drying and we could rent it. What are you saying about the door? Yeah, some, someone's put a... Um, a dox. Someone's put a, an internal door on here. And that... Can't even open it. You can't even open it now. Sw See, what is it? Swell or something? Yeah. I don't know who's done that though. That's literally a bedroom door. Not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that needs changing. I mean, that's what happens. It, obviously, taking a property, not even realise that. Um, now that will need changing. It's just, it's going to cause more problems otherwise. I think you see him there. There, look, he's struggling. Upside down. Oh no! You can fly. I'm going to have to get, not pest control, because I do it myself, so we're going to get a fumer, yeah. fumigate it all while there's no tenants in, and uh, what is it, the sticky gel? Like a gel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we'll apply some sticky gel and it'll save us a bit of the pest control. You see, they walk that on the floor. Yeah, so we'll put it all. Skating board. It's like a silicone gel, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we'll do that before tenants move in. Could do the liquor paint as well. Okay. With these properties we get, the location's really good in, like near the city centre. So on my WhatsApp, I've literally had about 10 inquiries already. But the thing is, it's, it's not good to rent it like this, even though we could. Um, just because it will attract the wrong kind of tenants as well, like desperate tenants. So here the windows smash. We could, it's not actually dangerous, but we could change that. Um, that was a leak there as well. All dry now. Obviously, you need new vinyl. Put a brand new shower. That was a cause of the problem. We traced it down. Basically, there'd been a box drop with the tiling, so the water was going behind. So all of this is new. Um, it looks quite nice actually. So the tenants can have a shower. A lot of kids or whatnot you can use the bathroom at the same time. Shower and bath here. Um, actually, we were thinking to save money and time, we could have closed that off, not replaced the shower, just use this because there's no leak here. But the thing is, if we're doing it once, we're doing it right. So we just thought we'll do it all at once. And then even though it takes a bit more time, it'll be rented and we don't have to come back for maybe two years. That as well, that's where the roof was leaking. So there's two, two leaks here, roof and shower. And you've always got to make sure you know which one is which because it was a bit confusing uh, for the old landlord, probably why they didn't manage to sort it. Because uh, there was, every time it rained hard, there was a leak. And when it wasn't raining, there was a leak from the shower. But he didn't know which one was which, he thought it was a, uh, just the roof. Uh, because the tenants always used to send pictures of the floor and it was dry after the shower. They couldn't be mopping it. So you never know. Over here is quite nice. They've obviously partitioned this uh, to make to make HMO. But I suspect the minimum room sizes of one of these is not 6.5 square meters. It might be, but we're not going to take the risk, we're just going to do it as a single bit anyway. You know, the, the rent's not far off. Um, not the best mattress. <laughs> I've seen worse, but not the best, so we'll get that changed. Get rid of that damp smell as well. 
it's not always damp, you know, it can be condensation. So with condensation, um, it's just because the tenants haven't opened the window in winter and it's all done. So it's not, damp doesn't come above 1.5 meters high, roughly. So you wouldn't get damp, rising damp on these walls. It's condensation, so just be aware of that. That probably needs changing. Ryan's need doing. We're getting there though. You can tell it used to be a H1 because there's a literally interlinked uh, smoke alarms in each risk area. So that's a, that's a massive giveaway to HMO. So one is necessary, but two, if you're trying to do a HMO undercover and you've got these in, it's a dead giveaway. Um, but we leave it in because it's safer, right? So there's always that argument as well. But we have had officers push back and go, well, why, if there's an alarm in each room, is it a single that uh, they get suspicious, but the thing is, it is safer, so. I mean, why wouldn't it be? You've got one, they're all interlinked, so if there's one that goes off downstairs, it'll go off in that room as well. So why wouldn't you want that even for a family? So it's just a bit of backwards thinking there, but that's uh, how they apply the rules and regulations, and it's different for each council. But when I'm looking at a property, I can tell straight away, it's a tight age room, and we'll, we'll put a bid in for it, really, because, um, not many people want it. So if it was presented nicely, it would go for a lot more than we couldn't bid on it. So this kind of property puts first-time buyers off and like people who want to buy um, to live in the property or even landlords, some landlords get put off. And the reason being is you, you can tell it used to be like um, a rundown HMO. So there's like loads of little things and then it, it, it smells when you view it. And there's loads of things that buyers point out and like damp and stuff like that and roof issues and everyone thinks, oh, you need a new roof it needs ripping back to brick and then they add like 40 grand cost to it and then it's not worth buying it. We love these kind of properties because we can do small changes, we can have our roofers out to repair it, we can do the bathroom internally with our own build team. And so that 40 grand where somebody else may think they have to spend, we spend five and then the difference is the profit. So when, although we're not flipping it, we could do and take the difference, but just little things like, you know, these kind of doors, you're not going to have that in the first time buyer's house or someone who's going to live in it. And like this kind of door frame, you wouldn't, you'd have to change all that for HMO. So again, our strategy is to just keep it as a single let, get maximum rent. We might lose three, four hundred pound a month on the rent, but it's still more than covers. Like this will rent for like twelve fifty, and the HMO might be uh, sixteen hundred. So it's not too different. Not that's including bills. We don't have to pay bills, so and you don't have any void. So. Um, Swings and roundabouts, but on this one we'll just quick in and out and get it rented. The other thing is, I might, just thinking about it, I might show it already because we have got loads of interest. And what is it sometimes a nice thing to do is bring the, and this is what I have to do myself, I don't give it to the agents when it's this type of house. So I'll, I'll do all the viewings on the same day and I'll stage it out. So obviously people are like our, there's a rush to put a deposit down because it's sealed for people, but I do one at a time in the house. And with the tenants who I'm more comfortable with and kind of have confidence in going forward, I might say to them, look, we're doing it all. What kind of furniture do you want? What curtains do you want? What kind of beds do you want? Because we're going to put them in anyway. So it's better that they have an input so it's more homely for them and they're likely to stay longer. So I might just do that. I might, I might take them round, for example. Um, I might take them here and say, you know, what colour do you want here? Do you want curtains? Do you want to change? What do you want left? What do you want to go in? Same here. So I might let them choose a bed, a new bed, curtains, new wardrobe, I'll let them choose it. Because then they won't get that service from a different landlord. So if they go and view somewhere else or in the future, they'll just get what they're given. But as we're renewing it anyway, we might as well do that. So top tip for landlords or people getting into property try and make it as personalised as possible because um, they're more likely to stay and more likely to pay the rent you want and be long-term tenants so what do you think nice huh it's getting there it's getting there <laughs> just, just throw it down yeah oh i'm just always taking it out now what are you doing you got it Got it? Yeah. I was going to help, but it's got it. That's why it's got energy. Yeah. Let me count these. Let's take the door. Take the door. Hey. Nice. Look at that, look at that. Landlord HMO furniture. So. 
Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hands dirty. We have pushed for time here because we've got four jobs on. There's people like literally saying I need this house now. So as much as we want to do it perfectly, I, I'm not 100 percent sure we'll get everything done. Which is why we can't do as HMO. If you, if, you make, <laughs> we, we if you make it as a HMO and try and rent an addition, you'll get a fine, so there's no point. Um, and it's delaying our other jobs. And I'll probably get our clients watching this for another property thinking why they are this house instead of the other one, but that's the way it is. You got that one, This. <laughs> well, the weather's the weather's better now as well. That's the problem in Manchester. Well, anywhere in the UK, really. You was fighting against the weather. Wednesday. All maintenance comes at once as well, so we've got this bathroom that's, and we've got another tenant of property of mine that's had the same problem with his tenants, so we need to do that. I've had another bathroom which is ground floor where the water's penetrating through because the damp proof membrane has failed. So they're waiting for that and they're kicking off saying that uh, one of them's going to move out as HMO, so that needs to do it. And then we've got our client job and another job, so we're really, it all comes at once and then we'll have like two months where it's just chilled, so. It's pretty hard and I'm pretty sure most animals will tell you the same that you know if you had one boiler go they'll have three at once. So you've always got to make sure you put a bit away, um, like 10% of the rent away um, and build it up so you've got um, like a, a fund to, to pay for refurbs. Obviously the more properties you get the more jobs, you might spend like 15000 on maintenance this month but the rent, obviously the rent is doubled, double that easily so. Um, yes, you will have more maintenance and it will come at once, but that's why you shouldn't spend your rent too much. Guys, uh, stay tuned and we'll show you the finished product afterwards. Let's get it! Yeah.